So do you know how to prove that two vectors are parallel? Well, actually, this is the side of vectors geometry that is a little bit easier because it's the same method every time. We've got here that M is the midpoint of AC and N is the midpoint of BC. We're told that the vector AB can be written as lowercase a, so I'm going to draw that on with the same direction. And the vector BC can be written as B, so somewhere along here, that's B. Prove that MN is parallel to AB. So first of all, we actually have to work out MN because we know AB already. So let's draw a line there first and direction. To work out MN, I am going to go up to C, down to N. That means I need to know AC. AC would be going along to B, so that's A, and then up to C plus B. Now, MC is exactly half of AC because it's the midpoint, so that would be a half of A plus B. Then C to N is first of all the wrong direction, so it's going to have to be a negative, and it's also half of BC, so half of B. So M to N is these two vectors added together. Now I'm going to expand and simplify all of this. As you can see, when I simplify this, the Bs cancel out. I'm just left with a half A. So MN is a half A and AB is just a. To prove that two vectors are parallel, you have to prove that one is a multiple of the other. Luckily here, we don't have any B, so we just have to look at the scale of the A's. I normally say, how do I go from the smaller one to the bigger one. Well, in this case, can you see how I would have to times it by two? So to prove that they are multiples, I'm going to write it like this. AB is equal to two lots of MN. You could also write it as MN is a half AB. That's fine. This proves that they're multiples. That's just implied. And you can write, therefore, parallel. For two vectors to be parallel, they have to be multiples of each other. That's it. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out the GCSE Math Pro YouTube channel where you can find full videos going through everything that we've just seen.